Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. We've got the boatless angler with us, Antonio's with us today. We finally got a little bit of safe ice. Uh, we've got about four inches, maybe four and a half if we're lucky, but uh, it's been a warm winter. And today folks, we're looking for panfish, uh, perch and or sunfish. And I know they're in this area. We've just got started. We got a couple of nice perch going here. Perch Antonio. Time. Oh, Antonio's got one on there. He's got one on. What do you got? Nice perch. There's a nice perch. So what we're doing, we're running the sting nose, the sting nose jigging spoons. And uh, because there's both sunfish in here as well as uh, perch, what we're doing is we're running the smaller sting nose. So I've got I've got the 3 16 ounce sting nose and Antonio's got the smaller one which is 1 8 ounce and the reason for the smaller size is it's kind of a compromise between uh, the perch and the and the sunfish. One. Another one Antonio? Yeah, one. Good. Ooh, nice. There's a nice perch. So you've got the, uh, the 1 8 ounce so he's got the smaller sting nose and like I say it's got a smaller hook on it for uh, in case we get into some uh, to some sunfish but right now it looks like the uh, the perch are happening and I think we're gonna have ourselves a nice day on the on the ice okay let's get this guy back in again now how Ooh. deep there you go Antonio Antonio's into another one you got the hot hole there how deep is it there 17 feet 17 good one yeah so we're getting some nice perch here. Now I've got the bigger spoon, you got the smaller one. Either you got the small the hot hole or the spoon is making a difference. <laughs> Could be the skills. I got a couple. Okay, so the technique we're doing, it's a very subtle jig. Yeah. There you go, just like that. Antonio's into a school of them over there. Oh, that's a nicer one. That's a good perch. So very subtle jig, right Antonio? Very, very subtle. Very subtle jig. So nothing too aggressive, just a very subtle lift. Let it go down, lift, let it go down. Pause for a second or two, just a slight lift. If you, if you jig too aggressively, sometimes what happens when you're ice fishing is that you, uh, you end up spooking the fish as opposed to catching the fish. So a nice subtle jig and a pause is absolutely perfect. Oh, I saw that hook set, Antonio. Yeah, it feels good. You saw him on the graph there, didn't you? I did. Ooh, nice. They're nice, these perch. They're decent size. They're average size, eh? I like Not them. huge jumbos, but uh, nice perch. There's another one on my graph. You've got a pile of them going on there, Antonio. <laughs> got the hot hole. There's another one coming. See you on the graph. Yep. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a little small. I'm gonna let this one go. But there's actually I can see there's a school here. Okay, Antonio finally got one on. Nice. Feels like a decent perch. Yeah, it's a keeper. Oh nice one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and I see Antonio's hole dried up over there. He got into that little flurry and now he's moved over. So what we've done is we've drilled a bunch of holes all around. Because obviously what happened there, Antonio got into some nice fish and then all of a sudden no more bites. So there might have been just a little school in that area. So now he's going to try over there. I'm going to stick with this hole only because I just got one. So maybe they're going to gonna move around. But just jigging these spoons off the bottom, nice and subtle. And the other thing, folks, Someone wrote in earlier and said, you know, what suits are you wearing? You know, we're out here in, in four and a half inches of ice, but even if it was two feet of ice, I always wear my survival suit. Um, and if you're looking for survival suits, they come in one piece or two piece. They're also called floater suits. And I personally like the one piece uh, because it's safer. The two piece is more convenient because you, if it's hot out, you might want to take, uh, take it off, but that's the risk that you run because you want to leave these on. So if you're looking for a survival suit, look for a one piece, you can't go wrong. They keep you warm, they keep you safe, they're great to have. Okay, now Antonio's just tried two other holes. 
and still no fish in those holes so it's been it's been about five minutes or so so let's go back to Antonio's original hole and see if there's any more action in there while he's trying those other holes perhaps the school of fish might have moved back yep they're back Antonio this feels like a good fish yeah? oh yeah that's a decent one okay come on back get your hole I know you've been trying different holes no, nope, nope, go back, get your hole. I'll take my own hole back. <laughs> go, go ahead, go I ahead. You just seen a fish in your hole. Go ahead, go ahead. But that's the thing, you know, if you have the opportunity to drill different holes and try different spots, I got a little bit of weed there. You got some weed in that hole, Antonio. Really? That could be why those perch are holding there. You want to drill? Some? I could drill some more holes in that area maybe, but I'm going to stick with this hole. I mean, it's produced some fish. And I don't want to disturb your hole. If I start drilling, you know, with the power auger and making noise again, that could disturb things. So we'll just leave things be. Okay, what we did, folks. Oh, he's chunky. I think this one will keep. What we did is Antonio's away down there now because the bite totally dried up in those holes. And I went and drilled some more holes. I didn't want to do it earlier because I didn't want to scare anything, but what I did was I just drilled three holes just around the area a little bit to see if uh, if maybe the school has moved a little bit. And uh, right off the hop, I picked one up. So maybe that strategy is going to pay off. We might just keep drilling and moving here as the day goes on. But Antonio's away down there. Oh, it looks like he's got something on in that hole. Yeah, looks like a uh, keeper. Oh, I got one too. Nice. I got another one too. So, this looks like a small perch. Okay, but, oh boy. Let's see if I can get that hook out. The strategy though is paying off. We drilled some different holes. This one, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to keep him because he just inhaled. Oh no, 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 it's come out. He's okay. So that's the strategy, try to drill some different holes. Of course, if you have the ability to do that, luckily with the power auger, it makes it a little bit easier. With the hand auger, of course, a lot more work, but with the shallower ice, the hand auger would actually be uh, not too, too bad. Okay, let's see if we can get another fish or two, and if not, I'll move to that hole, I'll move to that hole, see if we can pick up uh, some more fish. You got a good one, Antonio? Another keeper, so looks like fish are really scattered. That hole's paying off too, eh? Doing really well. Yeah, okay, good. And that's quite a distance. Like we, uh, I drilled these three holes in the same area that we started off in. And then Antonio drilled some holes out there a little bit further. And uh, looks like uh, there's some fish holding out there too. That's a, that's a decent perch. Uh, he's kind of borderline. We'll put him back, but boy, he gave me a really good hit. Oh, you know what I should do? No, I'm going to drop it back down, but I want to try that hole there. I'm going to try both these holes uh, and see if they're holding fish. But I don't want to leave until, until the bite stops in this hole. There you go. Wow, those holes were, did not produce. Antonio's away back there now. He's fishing deeper water. I went back to the original hole. And it looks like the school is, or at least there's some fish back here again. That's a good keeper fish. Antonio's behind me there. We're going to keep moving around. It's a beautiful winter day out here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just so happy to be out on the ice again. It's taken a while to get some safe ice, so we're going to take advantage and spend the day out here. And by the looks of it, just hop around from hole to hole and look for those active fish and see if we can uh, well it looks like we already got a bit of a feed for tonight so uh, we're gonna have a nice perch fry tonight but we're gonna definitely enjoy the day ice fishing today so glad you could join me if you get an opportunity and you haven't had a chance to try ice fishing give it a try it's a great way to pass the winters by and it's a lot of fun I want to thank you ever so much 
for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. <laughs>